So, the funny thing about that was, <laughs> was that I've just been streaming, right? Just been streaming, and, well, Red Dead Online just didn't want to work, so that was the stream cut short, basically. <laughs> so, to anyone, say that joins new now. Hello, Riley. Hello. <laughs> I was not expecting to see to see you pop up in chat today. So I have literally just been streaming. However, the game sort of uh hey mate, wish I could stay and watch, but some of us have to go to work. Catch you later. Catch you later, Andrew. Thank you for at least dropping by though. It means an absolute lot. Um so yeah, the issue that I just ran into was I tried to load into the game via the cam. However, yeah, feel feel like not lurking today. <laughs> good, 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 good. So sometimes when you try and load into camp, it just sticks at eighty percent loading and it just stays at an infinite loop. So I should have probably tried to have loaded into the game beforehand. So without further ado, we'll just load straight into the free roam instead. <sighs> right. If anything else goes bad, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> oh my god. I knew everything was going smooth as soon as I started started the last stream, like it all connected perfectly fine, no issues, nothing. But I had to, I just had to, had to not think about it, didn't I? It was great. Right. So for anybody that actually didn't catch <laughs> online servers for you, I know it's so shit, <laughs> so crap. Oh well. But for anyone that didn't catch. The beginning of this, which I don't know whether or not now to include into my VOD on YouTube. <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. So I set everything up and I, I started talking <laughs> and I started talking about what drink I'm having today. I'm drinking a nice ice cold Coke with ice cubes and a nice co uh, la, 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 ice cold water. <laughs> I'm it, It's too hot to even do anything. The sky right outside my window is perfect blue not a cloud there the trees are slowly blowing in the wind or the windows upstairs are also open <laughs> i am hot <laughs> i'm hot right now and i'm deciding to put my ps4 on get even hotter and my laptop which will also generate some heat and i can already feel sweat starting to pool in my hands so if i if i'm uh, Paint any vivid pictures. That's that's good. Good, 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 good. Right, I can hear like there's a collectible. <laughs> uh, yes, a small nuclear reactor in the corner. Perfect for an already hot day. <laughs> yeah, I would put a fan on, but with how my mic picks up the sound, I actually is this too loud? Uh, does the sound sound a bit quieter now for the game? I, I noticed just can't hear a fan. Yeah, the fan isn't on. Um, the PlayStation is actually a considerable distance away from me too. So hopefully that should not be an issue. Uh, right. So we have no like actual plan in mind, but I do want to just take a look at some daily challenges. Uh, don't kill an animal for 24 in-game hours. Oh, God damn it. There goes my plan of doing a little bit of hunting. Uh, stated animals revived and crafted or cooked at a wilderness camp. All three of them can be done. Well, I say two. I say, uh, forget it. I'm too hot. Uh, lost jewelry. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Donate some things. Start giving Sony ideas. I can see it. I can see it now. The Sony sauna. Yes, Sony sauna. I, w I would buy it. To be fair, they already do have it on sale, the Sony sauna. It's the PlayStation 4 Pro. Daily challenge, don't play the game apparently. Uh, I suppose. Um, I mean, there's quite a lot of it to play, uh, considering the last time uh, some people have probably seen this game. We now have a bounty hunter, you can kill people. You now have a trader, you can kill things. <laughs> Collector doesn't involve killing. Moonshiner, 
occasional killing. And naturalist, no, killing's bad unless it's bad people. Which I suppose is things. I went around not hunting. I suppose, call mechanic, don't do it. Yeah, uh, well, it's, I'm not going to explain. I, I'm honestly too tired to explain. They put a, a thing in called hunting, which is actually like a big mechanic in the game. It's one of the biggest foundations to why people play it. And they basically put the naturalist in and go, yeah, you know that thing that you've been doing all the time, which is basically muscle memory at this point. Just don't do it. But the kicker is, is that even if your horse treads on a squirrel, whether or not a bird flies into your head and it dies, uh, it's still my fault. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. we will go with the Texan because reasons. Right, so I'm going to look at my arbitrary map on my phone. Is it arbitrary? I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the word means, to be honest. And I am going to find the antique alcohol bottle selection. Somehow, not surprised. Yeah, me neither. Uh, let us have a look at my antique alcohol bottle selection. Yeah, why not? We'll do the entire antique alcohol bottle collection since we've just started it. So we need to go find literally everything else. Which, to be honest, just riding around on on, on horseback. Um, well, I wouldn't ride it on horse front, would I? Why? Mm, forget it. I was going to say, why do Americans call it horseback riding when obviously you're not going to ride its face, but there are people out there that would probably ride a horse's face. I, for one, am not one of them. Hanging under the horse like a baby monkey. Actually, I can kind of show you something similar to that. Uh, hang on. Right, I first need Caroline. Uh, Caroline being my horse. Uh, not many people in the session today. So, hopefully we don't get transferred over to a different one. So, hanging under the horse like a baby monkey. Right, so a way to dodge bullets is to do this. I would love it if we could sort of kind of just stay there and fire bullets from that position. Hang on. Because you can duck, but you can't fire until you're... Right. Let's keep uh, putting waypoints down. And then we can get to just chilling. I didn't have an original goal of actually doing any collectible sort of stuff today, but... Horse shield seemed to be delicious lasagna. <laughs> uh, I I would never make my horse into a lasagna. My my horse is my treasure. So the next one would be saying that I don't no you can't skin a horse in this game. Um, it was a really old reference if you remember. Horse shield. I'm trying to work out the reference, but I don't think I can. You are going to have to uh, mention that uh, where that reference is coming from, because I, I don't think my brain wants to work today. You watch it be from like a song from way back when Tesco sold horse meat in their lasagnas without labeling it as horse. Ah, yes, I remember. I remember that. Honestly, I know it sounds really crazy, I wouldn't actually mind tasting horse. I mean, people eat other stuff, so why not? I suppose it's the ethics of it, I suppose, but I wouldn't mind giving it a try just once. Probably tastes like crap, but again, it's just the experience of just tasting things, I suppose. I've effectively gone vegan, so maybe not for me. Ah, okay. So, like, do you have, like, eggs and stuff like that still, or is it just, like, full veganism, or is it, like, mainly vegan, but then dipping in, in and out of, like, the vegetarian sort of diet? Uh, I know I wanted to try that at one point, but that was a long time ago, and, and now I just want to eat meat. <laughs> so, 
I basically U-turned on while I wanted. Right, so I guess we're not rushing around today. Uh, brush my horse. Chicken flavoured noodles are the exception, otherwise everything else is vegan. <laughs> Chicken flavoured noodles for the win! Right, I'm just gonna mosey on past these guys. I don't... I remember one of my streams, I think, a couple of weeks ago. I think. Uh, yeah, I had an absolute poor showing of my gun skills in this game. Even with auto aiming on, so... I'm not gonna embarrass myself today. They're quick, if I liked other flavours I'd have them instead. I'm just trying to think of my... F what is your favourite food? Because at the moment I'm, I'm in limbo between a few different things and moving in with, uh, with my girlfriend has really uh, opened up my, my love for food because at one stage I just hated food. I'd, I'd just eat to sort of survive and just make sure I've eaten for that day, but... Oh, I absolutely love pizza. Um, I'm torn between... Like, a Hawaiian. I don't really have a favourite food. I have a favourite flavour. That peppery, oniony, like, spring onion. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm, it's making me hungry now. I'm going to have to have food as soon as I finish the stream. Um... So yes, pizza, uh, Hawaiian, vegetarian and vegan, vegan pizzas are actually really, really nice. And if anyone can ever uh, get the chance to get a vegan pizza, do it. I've been eating a lot of vegan ramen with lots of spring onions, pak choy and such. Okay, okay. I see you experimenting with foods and trying new things. Honestly. That's not my kind of thing, but it sounds delicious. <laughs> Don't know about nutritious, but it sounds delicious. So I would be on board for that. Um, I know when I first moved in to where I am now, I, I had a big thing for chicken wings, spicy chicken wings, and that was fantastic. I've only ever made vegan pizza, never bought it. I had vegan pizza from Pizza Express in Wales uh, when I went to go visit um, one of my sisters. That was the same year my dad passed away. That would have been 2017. So that was quite some time ago the last time I had it. And I, I want it every day. But I never get around to getting any such pizzas because it's expensive and my money has to go elsewhere. I love a good hunter's chicken as well. Chicken wrapped in bacon with like barbecue sauce. Now, oh, I've never really been a fan of cheese, so pizza without cheese with veg is what I do anyway. Ah, oh, so nice. It is so, so nice. But yeah, I've never been a bacon fan. Uh, the times that I have tried bacon before Hunter's Chicken, uh, it made me gag. But I've recently become a big fan of it with the cheese. So, I absolutely live for it. Like, it is so nice. So, so nice. See, now I'm just sat here. I'm at work now, mate. Enjoy your afternoon. I'll catch you later. Was you listening to this stream just on your walk to work? And when I say walk to work, the two minutes across the car park. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good shift, mate. Um, with my new internet, you'll probably end up being catching the VOD. 
anyway to watch the rest of it. All I'm going to be doing is riding around anyway. So you probably won't even have to watch it, just listen to it, I suppose. So uh, have a good shift, and I'll catch you later. Oh, come on. Is, the, is this game trolling me with a grizzly bear somewhere like over in that direction? Lovely. The temptation to do it, to hunt it, is right, really, really strong. Oh, no. Oh, and it's blips even on the map now as well. Oh, I'm going to have to run, aren't I? Oh, no, it's going. Oh, it, yeah, it's following me. Go on. Run, Caroline, run. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to kill it. I'm trying to do a daily. <laughs> I'm trying to do a daily challenge here, game. Oh, my God. Right, so I'm sat here now. Never like bacon, which is almost blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, it is, but who cares? Um, never been a bacon fan up and, up until now. So I can feel like. Do you ever get that feeling when you're hungry that you can sort of feel your stomach sort of go like feed me? But it's not sort of like a grumble or anything. It's just like an internal feeling. <clears throat> that is the feeling I'm getting right now, and I hate it. I don't get hungry. I never used to get hungry. I used to sort of just feel more tired. However, as I'm aging, I've uh, I've recently had that thing of, oh, I'm hungry now. I'm I'm actually hungry, and I begin to to crave foods too. No signal for you need to eat. I wish I had that again. Maybe I'd lose my big fat gut. However, uh, that gut is a byproduct of just drinking a lot of beer. So, your stomach is right back. Feed me more. <laughs> oh, whatever you do, Andrew, do not play this stream. Just at the tills, whatever you do. Because you'll get a lot of confused customers. Like, what is going on? Also, I don't think management would also be happy with that, by the way. So, please don't. You'll get yourself and me into trouble. Because, yet again, I will be your distraction. Which is kind of crap. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, I'm really hungry. I should have eaten before this stream. There we go. I mean, I could easily just zip off real quick. Get, like, a packet of crisps. Just munch them down, but... Nah, can't do that. At Tills now. Oh, typical. Absolutely typical. God damn it. Wait, do you just keep your phone on you? Wait, are you just outing yourself on on a live forum that you have your phone on you? Catch you later. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Oh, I don't want to be blamed for anything. Right, so this temperature gauge basically says like 12 because management is watching your stream too. Well, actually, funnily enough, I have actually had uh, warehouse manager watch me um, just for a little bit and obviously mentioned it at work. So the pressure to obviously not mention anything that happens at work increases, even though I never get the temptation to, me 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 to mention anything anyway. Is, is never there. So this would be the first time ever mentioning work as well. So hopefully I'm not saying anything bad, which to be fair, I've got nothing bad to say. Even after over five years, I'm still incredibly lucky to still be employed, to still have the same employer and for everything to just be going quite swish. See, now I've mentioned beer as well. I really want a Guinness. Rather than the water, just a Guinness, but... Oh well. Oh, and the in-game temperature is dropping quite fast. Let us go to my Mountain Man outfit. Big fur coat. <laughs> Nothing says not killing animals like a big fat bur... Bur? La -la -la -la. Bear coat. Let's hope these players up yonder are quite friendly. 
they seem to be. But nothing says being shot in the back like a good old Western. What's the player ba base like in this game? Honestly, it's really, really good. Apart from times where Rockstar don't put content into the game. So we get two major updates. Uh, we get one in the summer and we get one in the winter. Um, the summer ones are overall from what we have received in the past. The biggest content update in comparison to GTA Online, which the uh, biggest update will come in the winter and we only sort of get a filler in Red Dead in the winter. So we have sort of something announced, but we haven't been told what it is. And the player, ba the player base at the moment are quite, not on edge, but they're quite angry because it's obviously around six months for not having an update and we've got nothing fresh, nothing new. We've still got the same old bugs. We've still got the same old exploits, glitching, griefers. Um, griefer population on maps always seems to increase from what I've noticed the closer to an update comes. And then obviously you get the same people then coming over to an update. Not to play the update, but to basically grief the players that are playing the update. But that's very few and far between. A lot of people are usually getting their teeth sunk into the update. I mean, we did have like an outlaw pass, which is like a paid thing where you get clothes and stuff. And they've broke, I think it's an over 300 day. So it's like from last year's update to now, I think they've actually broken that cycle. Ah, there's still griefers. I thought this game wouldn't really have that problem. It's, a, it's basically, for a lack of a better term, a Wild West simulator. Um, obviously, quotation marks over the word simulator there. Um, where a lot of people just think they can be just dickheads for the sake of just being dickheads. However, like, 99% of the player base are really, really nice. And oh, I just, I love it. I don't, I don't think, I remember at one stage I got really addicted to GTA Online, even though I knew it was sort of like a toxic, sort of like, game environment with other players. <clears throat> However, with just Red Dead, it's like the other day, I was playing the other day after work, and yeah, because of the light, light sim stuff, I thought people would want to roleplay. <clears throat> people say they want to roleplay, but then end up just going like full pelt on their horse, just just speeding everywhere and not taking in the environment and just wanting to go from place to place but I've noticed as I've played the game more it's not so much about the grind but having fun and even Rockstar think that from interviews that they have uh, held where they have said it is a slow paced game we are releasing content as such so obviously I think it is down to the player base in a, in a weird way that we have high hopes for something which obviously Rockstar do want to continue going forward with but at a very slow manner and it's basically the player's fault <laughs> for thinking that we'll get like an update every three months but I've slowed down compared to what I used to and I'm just enjoying it I'm just enjoying it for what it is in the world that I really wanted to live in anyway especially with Red Dead Redemption. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I just wanna make sure I haven't, yeah, I haven't run over any little critters. But yeah, um, honestly, I come to this game every day, not because of daily challenge streaks, not because of having to get a grind on to earn money or gold, but just to honestly have fun. And sometimes that fun can be either hunting. It can be just little things. It can be just picking up collectibles, riding around the map. Just, just the little things in this game, I really, I really will say. To be fair, I said that about Call of the Wild until that became quite uh, 
not toxic, because that's the Facebook group, uh, but quite, quite slow. Um, I like my slow games. My weapons also do need a clean too. What are those sort of normal daily challenges today anyway? Uh, squirrels collected, vanilla flower, um, so none of the ones I'm going to go after, just... Yeah. I've been tempted to sort of make an ASMR video just out of like the wilderness sounds in this game, like horse sounds and... The game had so much potential that just seemed wasted. Uh, with GTA Online, uh, I would say so. I would say they had a good way, a really good way how to monitor players and how to keep it not fresh, but to keep it sort of, this is GTA, but they went really big, really fast. But with Red Dead, I don't think it's been wasted. I think Rockstar have done things in a different way to how I would have expected it to have gone. Uh, I would have expected, obviously, smaller robberies and and more outlawish sort of stuff to have happened by now. But I guess it fits the character in a really weird way, because when the game opens up, uh, you've basically been framed for a murder, um, just because you strolled into town right as it happened, and the character, obviously, like in GTA, doesn't speak. And through all the beginning part of the game, basically you're, you're basically helping out this lady called Jessica Leclerc. Leclerc. Um, obviously they're trying to help keep you free from the law. And obviously you're trying to find who the actual killer for her husband was. And it's actually a really nice story that we haven't actually got the end to. We sort of killed someone and she said she'd be in contact. And that was about two years ago, so yeah, about two years ago that happened, so we haven't had anything else from then. So we sort of have no idea what's going on with Jessica Leclerc, and whether or not Rockstar are going to carry on that story. Um, I hope they do, but it's whether or not they have the time for it. But I think a lot of what's going on now with the Frontier Pursuits updates with roles is to sort of get us immersed in the world, whether or not we want to actually go hunting and pursue a life of trade. How long ago was that last story uh, update? Uh, I think it might have been in the sort of spring of 2019, if I believe, because the story mode came out in 2018. The online came out about a month afterwards. We had a beginning bit of a story there, and then they started adding more missions prior to its release. And I think that happened just after it came out of beta, sort of in the springtime. I think I'd call that abandoned, effectively. Yeah. I, I, I want to hold out hope that they are going to add some sort of story back into it where Jessica Leclerc basically comes back and sees us profiting from all these endeavours, building a life for ourselves, and basically thinks that we did commit the murder and that she's relied on the wrong information and double crosses us. I I would I would love to see that twist. I really would. Um although saying it out loud, if Rockstar did do it, I wouldn't be as shocked. <laughs> I really wouldn't be as shocked, so I do want to see something cool like that where things get turned on us and different things like that. Because it could flip the, the rolls on its head as well. So like, obviously we run a moonshining business, so she finds out about Maggie Fike, the one who we work with. Basically gets her killed. Um, Crips, the guy that we have at camp, which Jessica Leclerc um, let us obviously not have. But obviously he's keeping a watch on us. He's basically keeping us safe. Uh, he wanted to start a trading business. 
but has obviously had a letter to basically double cross us and he wants to be on our side he's I'd, I'd love it for for him to sort of be on our side for a little bit and then double cross us in the end where it seems like we've got her beat but then we don't like i'm just coming up with all these ideas i i really wish we had something like that and i'm hoping i'm hoping we do eventually get it and I know it's really weird to sort of say, but I'm holding out for winter. I do think that we are going to get something to do with the story of the actual online and how it starts in the winter period. But I could be wrong, but I, I don't want to be. I, I do want to hold out hope. But it's Rockstar and online and I know I shouldn't get my hopes up, but... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, eh? Oh, I've also noticed the other day I posted on Twitter basically to say um, Rockstar had either removed the tracks, so that obviously there's snow deformation, but however, it is just a glitch. I had it confirmed by a really awesome dude on Twitch. Uh, I think it's Brute. I think that's how I'm pronouncing it Brute. Brute VS. Uh, he basically confirmed that it is a glitch and not a removal of it, so So that's at least good news What have we got going on in that? Oh, I know what that is. It's, I think it's a gang hideout down there. I Don't want to come on over this way. I don't want to get involved with it. I'm really not in the mood I just want to ride Next antique alcohol bottle should just be up there Suppose the glitch bug is fixed. Uh, Rockstar don't work that fast. Unless it's game breaking. Unless they can't get money out of their players, they won't fix it. Um, there's loads of different stuff like that in the game right now. Supposing. I wish they'd move that fast when it comes to updates and glitches and stuff like that. But I know for a fact Rockstar don't work that quick unless it's something where they can't make money from it. So, as much as I want to agree with that, where maybe they have fixed it, they wouldn't have done. There's occasional bugs and glitches where the horsetail completely um, removes itself. Um, for male horses, there's still a glitch where your male horse will have no genitalia. And there's also still a glitch where the main also disappears too. People are unlocking things too quickly. Quick fix it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. I just... I've got a lot of hope with how this game should go and should be. But I'm reminded very often that I should keep my standards low and just... And just play for the, play the game that I've currently got sat in front of me, and just not hope. And I'm having fun with it now. Six months down the line, I might not even be playing it, so I may as well enjoy my time with it now. Well, it's the only version you're definitely going to get. Definitely. <laughs> so. I'm having fun with it now. And honestly that. Oh. I think there are players in this region then. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't usually get like. Pe per X person killed X person. Unless they are fairly close. So they're probably up by quarter. Or at least somewhere around here. At least. At least in my vicinity. So I'm hoping that I don't have to ride around past anyone. I just want a nice quiet ride where I'm relaxed. Which so far, I'm actually really rela relaxed. Like, I think being up in the snow as well is really helping with my body's temperature because I'm, I'm going, yes, I'm riding in the snow. I can see the snow deformation. I can see the ice. So my body genuinely feels cooler. 
Honestly, I have no idea where those players are. And I'm quite happy about it. But good thing about this outfit is I have my extra uh, slot for another pistol, so. Were you up too much this morning? I was not. Um, so basically all I've done today is I woke up, got well, got a shower, got dressed, went to my mum's for a bit, came home, done some vacuuming. Uh, went out into the garden for a little bit just to just to look up at the sky. I know I know it sounds really weird to basically say I looked up at the sky for a little bit, but honestly, it makes me feel so happy to just look up. And I haven't done that since I was maybe nine years old. No, actually, tell a lie. The only times I do it are when I'm lying on my back at the park and I've never just sort of just stood there and just looked up. It's a, it's a weird feeling because the sky is very, very high. Space is up there and below us and it's everywhere. I think I'm probably going to get a bit too, too into how small we are, but to uh, just look up at the sky was quite nice. I think one of my old college tutors, breaking the sky is, wait, what? Breaking the sky is big and space is up there. <laughs> oh, I, I could feel, I could feel the sarcasm in that one. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Um, it's the revelation. As a kid, it blew my absolute mind to know that there's more than just a blue sky. It blew my mind. That's good, because normally I'm quite bad at it. <laughs> that time, I could sense what you were going for, especially with the um, emote with like the sticking out tongue. So I could, I could kind of sense. I could kind of sense it at that time. Funnily enough, I was actually going to message you after the stream. So... It seems as though you beat me to it. Well played, sir. Well played, sir. <laughs> Honestly, going back to any particular reason, just to say hello, just because it's been quite a few days, literally that is the particular reason, was just to say hello, because last time we spoke, obviously I mentioned about how I'm, I've been poor at communicating recently, and, and obviously I wanted to say hello, and you beat me to it, so that's fine though, that is fine. Oh, I'm just going to have to go through it, aren't I? You know what? I'll leave it down to you. Shall we take down this uh, revenue agent? Saw you online and had a similar thought. Ah, fair play. Shall we take down this group of people? I mean, it's like an enemy like blockade sort of thing for the moonshiner business. Um, I will let you decide whether or not I take these guys down. In the meantime, I'm going to grab a quick drink. How many targets? Enough. Uh, I can't quite see from here. Uh, I will point my sniper at them, hoping they don't kill me. Got one there. One there. Two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be someone there. Seven... I think in total there's usually about 12, so I think there's going to be some obviously hiding behind this and, and everything. I mean, it's very easy to take them all down. Just, yeah, I can't live in view, yeah. So, on your word, I will, I will start. Go on, give it a go. Right, this is where I absolutely embarrass myself. Right, all I'm going to use is my pistol and my revolver. And I'm just going to drink a bit of moonshine as well, just to... Because these guys are quite tough. Ah. 
Yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally not motivated enough to, to even... So this is the issue now. I actually can't see what you're typing. Probably 15. Retreat, retreat. Where's food? Where's food? I need to eat. Right, two guns. Oh, I'm bad at this. I'm gonna say, I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> oh, I was gonna add actual. Holy crap. I did not see that coming. I was not paying attention to my health. Wait, does this mean I'm gonna. Oh, they're only there. There we go. Frontal assaults with no RT support <laughs> is a bad idea. Oh well, I I will say I proved my point. And now I can loot. Rooting, tooting, cowboy shooting. I'm not gonna loot everyone, this will take ages. I'm just gonna loot the few. Now, with that being out of the way with, let us ride. They set up a checkpoint in Grizzly territory. Um, well, Grizzlies don't I was about to say don't spawn, but I suppose realistically they'd probably that's probably why they're set up in the way that they are, just to cover all, all the bases. Whether or not any predators do actually do actually attack them, but it doesn't make sense because no moonshine operation goes that far up. So I think it's just more for an annoyance for the player. But I'm gonna Make my way quickly down into Valentine. There we go. So how much of a, of a, is it a semi-random spawn? It is. It is. Um, the spawn for those checkpoints. I don't know how often they do appear, but I think it's sort of what's happening around the area, what the player density is looking like, what um, animal spawns are looking like, whether or not there are any predators in like the immediate vicinity. And I sort of um, think it bases itself on what spawned in the area recently. That's at least what I think it is, but it's just RNG recent, uh, really, isn't it? So uh, how much of uh, Red Dead have you actually seen other than this stream uh, and whatever VODs I've had up? And obviously whatever you've watched prior. And obviously Red Dead Redemption from when we were younger. Because that was 11 years ago. When you'd probably seen that me play that game. Well you'd probably see me play it in 28, 2011 and 2012. Because I was still mad into the game by them points. Not much more. Any video Nerdcube did of it, and what I've seen you do. Ah, okay. Okay. I completely uh, forgot Nerdcube did things in Red Dead. But, yet again, I watched quite a bit of Nerdcube. Well, I say watched quite a bit of. I lurked his streams, basically, and just enjoyed. I associate this town of um, Valentine with this outfit, uh, the outfit from the movie Unforgiven, uh, Clint Eastwood's movie. Oh, there's a table and chairs there. 
I know the I know a lot of people when creating the outfit, they do it with a browner hat or like a more beigey sort of colour. But I go with the black just because it ties everything off quite nicely. Uh, you've got like the black neckwear, black gun belt, um, and like dirty black boots. Did you just steal a drink from under the bar? Yes, collectibles. Um, basically they just dotted around the map. Um, and NPCs don't mind if you take it from wherever they are. Which is really weird. But yeah, bartender doesn't care. Uh, he, no interaction, no nothing. That's nice of them. I know. Especially with it being like a rare item as well. You'd think you'd want to keep it. Oh, that antique alcohol. <laughs> that antique bottle of booze. Sure, take it. Didn't even charge me. Nothing. But I suppose back in these days, charges didn't exist. But um, that was bad. That was really bad. I wonder how far we've got on this, uh... oh not far, not long, far, long, whatever. Uh, we could really get immersed and just do this whole thing in first person. How do you feel about the first person view? Good morning. And if we wanted to to really be immersed, ha. we've got this. Eva's fine with you. Cool. I'm just gonna chill in first person. First person through it. I have a rough idea where I'm going. So. Honestly, this game is a masterpiece graphically. Any series or films you've been watching recently. Now, don't judge, because I know the judgment is upon me. So, I've been watching Walking Dead, but that's not the part you should judge. I've also been watching Ugly Betty as well. So when I'm not watching Walking Dead, I'm watching that. When I'm not watching Ugly Betty, I'm watching Walking Dead. Um... Quite the um, difference in shows, <laughs> oh, but that was an unexpected response. <laughs> yeah, um, I really, d really liked it growing up. But it came on after Simpsons, and I really did enjoy it. And then there was a period of time where it just—I didn't watch it anymore. It just wasn't there, and. Oh, there's that behind us. Just stick over to the side a bit. Let it pass. But yeah, um, I really enjoy watching it. Uh, I even have some of the DVDs of Ugly Betty as well, which is really uh, surprising. But I've been watching it on Disney Plus, and I've been watching it from the beginning, and it's... I wouldn't say it's funny funny, but it's it'll make you smile and like at least form some sort of reaction from it, and it's... Honestly, really, really just good television, and they don't make it quite like how they used to. I really feel like I've just uh, <laughs> got some sort of judgment <laughs> happening right now. Just like he watches Ugly Betty. What? What? Uh, uh, never really saw any of it, so I have no point of reference. Um, I know people that have watched it have probably said like, oh it's not very good, or people that have said it just like, I know a lot of people don't like it, or at least the people that I know don't like it, but the bad weather's coming in. <laughs> Uh, do do do. What am I gonna 
gonna do. Just for the sake of it. There we go. Bad weather in Germany right now. Bad weather in Germany right now? I can't catch the reference if there is a reference to be had. I'm looking at that. And in Germany. Bad weather in Germany right now. Am I an idiot? <laughs> Is the question. Watching 24 hours of... Uh, ah, okay. Torrential. Okay. Okay. So where do you watch that sort of stuff on then? On Reddit, because I, I know there's been things on Reddit that I've seen, uh, which is also a really weird thing to say. I use Reddit now. Um, not much, but I, I use it. A lot of it's officially on YouTube now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Don't kill an animal. Done. And dusted. Uh, I'm going to switch to the sedative rounds though. Um, okay, so that's one. Two. So both those animals now are sedated. And I can do another daily challenge. British GT. Bark. ADAC, Fear, Fire, Fear, I don't know, I don't know the uh, abbreviation FIA, um, WEC are all live on YouTube a lot of the time. Oh, okay. I mean, I could have done this um, sedative sort of uh, daily challenge ages ago. Because obviously you're not killing the animal, but just in case, may as well. Didn't fancy typing out all the full names, they're long. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. I'm honestly surprised it hasn't rained yet, but I suppose, yeah, the rain clouds look like they're on their way. Okay. And here's me without my raincoat. Even though it looks like I'm wearing a coat, I am. But it's not a raincoat. Which, funnily enough, did exist. Actually, here's a question. Um, during my past streams, because uh, obviously you mentioned uh, to me before that you were lurking, um, how much of it did you see? Because I, uh, you're so right through in that, absolutely. Uh, I know um, I've mentioned some historical facts that I've uh, learned through a channel on YouTube called Man vs History, and I don't really want to be repeating myself and anything that you actually have heard. So if you haven't heard uh, me mention anything, um, I'd love to see actually what you've actually heard and whether or not you have heard anything at all. Because I, I don't want to just bore you with just like repeated facts. Facts. There's a C and a T in there, not an X. If I heard, I've forgotten because that YouTube channel name isn't familiar. Okay, cool. So when speaking about raincoats, um, oftentimes folks in the West uh, used to wear things called fish skins, uh, which were basically the mo more modern, the which are, you would equivalent more to the modern day version of the rain mac, uh, which was basically like this whole like bright yellow sort of like coat, which would have a cut. Uh, if we can use the example on the, this coat here, it would have a coat right in the middle, which would span pretty much like the whole leg way down, which would be beneficial for people mainly riding horse. Um, so obviously the rain doesn't catch the um, the legs and it basically just act as that so 
on the back of my horse where you see the bedroll, uh, typically there would also be another roll there, which would be bright yellow, and that would also be that raincoat. Holy shit, what is that noise? <laughs> Wait, is someone going dynamite hunting? Just like over there. Perfect. But yeah, um, bright yellow. Yes, it was really bright yellow. Uh, next town we're close to, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to show you. Because there are several coats that mimic the look. Quite well. Um, and on the channel, Man Vs History, the guy basically said, like, which coats would resemble. So... Yeah, I'll have to uh, have a look into that and uh, show you on stream which kind of ones would work. Also speaking about like typical like Western dress, um, you'd often find people on the range or people out and about wouldn't wear just like like jeans or anything like that. So uh, obviously denim wasn't popular place or like common place for quite some time, especially like in the West. So that obviously wear like cotton trousers and like typical like trousers. But obviously the boots were obviously the length that they were for for obviously snake bites and stuff like that. But they'd also wear um, chaps and different types of chaps meant different things. So fur chaps were actually wore in the sort of like north northeast sort of like in the like this like, colder climates to obviously provide heat uh, to provide warmth um and chaps i can't remember quite what the materials used are i think it's like a leather like a buckskin or something like that and i'm sure they're used uh, basically to help keep the heat off of the legs to basically soak up the heat rather than it being straight on the the wearer's legs also uh, acts as a um, a protective layer from like cactus as well. So if you were wading through a smaller like area where cactus is, it protects the uh, the trousers or whether it makes sense different materials for different climates and environment. And hats hats is an interesting one as well. You can usually tell the uh, the type of cowboy. Or the type of um, area that that cowboy would be in. Not only based on their chaps but also their hats. If a cowboy was wearing a hat which had like a wider brim and was a much bigger hat. They'd be in much hotter climates. Um, obviously meaning to keep the sun off of their face. Back of their head. Um, shoulders. Um, and cowboys or obviously people in that time period. Uh, who wore shorter hats, much, much smaller hats. Um, it would be in colder climates, and that's because the wind can't take it off as easily. Um, contrary to popular belief, like uh, raccoon, uh, coonskin hats weren't commonplace in those kind of climates. It was genuinely just smaller hats rather than like coonskin caps and stuff like that. I don't feel like I'm doing any of this information justice. I really don't, because obviously I've I've learnt this through someone else, and I'm just trying to re recollect what what I've heard. But the ones with the tail hanging off of it, yes, absolutely. Um, sometimes you can get them without the tails, and the sort of tail is like just this whole piece on the head, and there's nothing hanging down. But the most common versions of it is is the very sort of like you've got the raccoon face and then the tail in the back oh and that's another daily challenge done cool yeah so the closest town we'll be to is Sandane. so we'll head into the the tailor once we've finished this next one the face would be left as well yes uh, basically, they'd keep the whole entire carcass and basically mould it in such a way. 
think if you type coonskin hat into YouTube, YouTube, into Google, you'd find several different variations on how they would be made. Uh, not made, but obviously worn. So obviously sometimes it'd just be like the head decapitated off and it's just like the body and, and the tail. Sometimes it'd be like the full thing. So it'd be like wearing a taxidermy raccoon on your head. Yes, basically. Um, short and simple answer there, yes. It's basically just like a, a full taxidermy raccoon on your head. Which, weirdly enough, I know I'll never wear it, but I really want to own one. Pass. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't. I don't see you ever, ever wearing anything like that. But I'd love to own one. To be fair, I'd love to own a lot of stuff like that. Uh, I'd love to own a horseshoe. Um, I'd lo love to own literally just everything that's quite authentic to that time period, just as. Not a collectible, because obviously that's... But I just want something just like as a nice like display piece to have like a horseshoe. Um, maybe like some sort of like lasso. Even though obviously though it, we, although we're not lassoing anything here, I'd love like some nice, nice rope and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, I already own like a like a cowboy hat. It's not so much a cowboy hat; it's more horseshoes and rope are easy enough to get a hold of. Surely, obviously the rope easy enough because obviously you can go just like to the local like hardware store, like B and Q and stuff like that. But horseshoes, if you like want an authentic made horseshoe, I think that'd be a bit harder. So obviously rather than like a prop one, but yeah, I I do want something like that. I'd also love um, a uh, a replica re -la 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 -la, replica uh, revolver too, just just to have as a display piece, just like a traditional sort of like. There's a stables not far from me. Could always come down and ask where they get theirs. Ooh, I didn't. I didn't give that. I think. I mean, I might have to. I actually might have to do that at some point. Thank you for reminding me that actually is down by you, because I completely forgot about that entirely. Yeah, because there's a stables by there, isn't there? On the way to Asda. Well, I'm intrigued. I'm I'm very much intrigued. Oh, oh. Come on. Back on. There we go. The next alcohol bottle should be just over here. The one there's gone. There's one literally across the road by the retirement home and playing fields. Oh, is there really? Oh my god. I didn't realise that one had gone and obviously another one's popped up closer. That's pretty cool. I mean, no, it was always there, was it? I mean, my recollection of roughly where you are is faded because I haven't been down that way in such a long time. So I'm probably misremembering things. You've been there for as long as I remember. Ah, okay. It's probably been there, but I just can't remember it. That's a very uh, straight to the point name, The Stables. No nonsense, no messing around there with that name. 
just the stables. Right, so where is the tailor from here then? Oh, it's just literally just here. Okay. And the retirement home is called The Ridings. That's a nice... I would have expected the stable to be called The Ridings. Ah. That makes more sense. <laughs> sure is nice, huh? So... Did someone just say that I'd take some moonshine? But yeah, uh, let's head into the back. Good to have you. Good to have you. Hailed it, partner. Right, so one of my more used um, trader outfits when I usually go hunting is something which is actually historically accurate uh, with actual um, images and stuff from the time period. So, wearing a button top which only goes to the middle, uh, which they used to do, wearing a big hat for the hotter climates, wearing obviously the um, chaps the right way, and the fish skin coat um, obviously came in multiple different uh, versions and like different like lengths and everything. But you could use the Pitman coat. Um, this one is like a, a loose buckskin coat with uh, fringed uh, uh, with fringed and fur. What kind of Wild West era character do you tend to play? Um, I tend to play typically the more mountain man kind of wild west which is right at the very very beginning of that era so right as the wild west era started the mountain man era was fading so there was like a, a small overlap i think it was about five years where mountain men were sort of in that area and obviously you've got like the overlap from that so i've got my character to sort of be um how do I put it? So he's sort of born right at the beginning of that era. What would the mountain man do? The mountain man would obviously just hunt to live. Um, obviously using bows and and traps, which is something I really want added into this game, is trapping. Uh, the idea of trapping exists uh, with uh, a trapper called Gus McMillan, um, but you can't actually lay down traps. So basically... Uh, and how to identify a man being a mountain man and not somebody of any sort of um, other descent than obviously white is they'd usually take off their tops because a mountain man would tan heavily on the skin uh, which would be um, in the sun. So obviously they'd be given like a, a very, very like deep brown sort of like look. So to identify to other people uh, in the settlements that were cropping up around places they would take their shirt off to sort of prove obviously that they're like a white person but from what i've read about statistics there were a lot, a lot of um black men and stuff and race honestly like people weren't as racist as people lead out to believe especially back then um another coat that could be used as like a, a fish skin um is it this one? This one, to a degree, because obviously you've got the lapels, you've got like how it sort of fringes down, except for slavery, yeah, except for that. But in some places, honestly, it didn't exist because they not so much seen each other as equals, but I mean, it could it could be the whitewashed history and obviously sources aren't 100% correct in all of this. But from what people can can gather is it wasn't until bigger settlements and civilization properly happened that slavery didn't happen as much. But obviously it could all be whitewashed and I'm honestly prepared for news like that to have, to have been brought out. But they lived and they coexisted and they were happy. Or at least when you say happy, they used each other for various means. Like someone would hunt and everything like that. Yeah, this kind of discussion never ends well. Um, quickly moving on. Um, 
So this coat could also be used as fish skin. Um, obviously you've got like the bright yellow. Um, but the coat that Man vs. History pointed out is actually a really, really fancy coat. It's the shotgun coat. And this is the one he pointed out exactly in his video. It's not quite all the way down to the bottom, however, it's got that piece as, as it forks, as it splits. Uh, how bright out in the game is it? Because I can show you it a little bit better. So yeah, that's sort of like how it would look. And in rainier weathers, they oftentimes wear these. And occasionally, I I do end up altering outfits. Not too bright. Tanned, leather looking. Yes, exactly. Um, but from, obviously, what images have shown and anything that has been recovered. I mean, you would never see a cowboy wearing this outfit. This is an outfit Rockstar put together for us in Outlaw Pass number 5, which is the one that just recently ended. And boy, howdy, is it an, a very out there outfit. Obviously, they're not trying to stick to more realistic standards. They are trying to actually... Yeah, just the pattern on the jacket. Uh, do, do, do. So if we go back to this outfit, this would be a very historically inaccurate version of what uh, an outlaw sort of person would look like. And this is actually a more historically accurate version of what an outlaw would look like. And comparing the two, you can kind of see why. Obviously they wouldn't have all like the embellishments and everything on their gun belt the way they do. It would be like more like cleaner and just like a more standard black but that is the kind of look an outlaw or a gunfighter would technically use um pinstripes reasonable school pattern on trousers not so much no uh the school pattern on the trousers is from outlaw pass number two part of the pitman outfit is it pitman uh rex road i think it is um pretty sure it is yeah, one of my favourite outfits they added to the game was the Rex Road outfit. It is beautiful. Everything about that outfit is fantastic. Honestly, I think I think they outdid themselves with that. But yeah, um, we've obviously got my Mountain Man outfit. Rather than using just a gun belt, we use string uh, or rope even. Texan, a very stereotypic, uh, typical. Uh, Texan outfit. The gun on the hip isn't. The gun on his left hip isn't having a great time with that coat. Well, you're Hell to the no! No, it isn't. No, it isn't. But the style, the um, on the Rex Road. No, it's not. Um, I've because I don't have the offhand holster equipped on my current outfit. Actually, if we. That's what it'd look like um, with the the gun on the hip sort of look on the Rex Road. So it sort of does push out the... Unless you meant the right hip, because uh, the character is always right-handed. But yeah, that's the kind of style. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yeah, the uh, physics of the outfit didn't look quite quite right did it <laughs> I think from here I might actually just create a new outfit which is how all of my streams set, uh, seem to end up is just creating some sort of outfit but I'm gonna try and use realistic sort of tones and stuff like that so the shirt my character is wearing right now is actually not realistic buttons which go all the way down to the bottom of the shirt did exist but was not typically worn by people out on the range um shirts would oftentimes look like this however not that weird sort of glossy look they'd be more like that um and like this as well 
Um, not like that. That would be typically worn underneath any any sort of cowboy shirts and stuff. Because obviously it's like a one-piece suit, like a onesie. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not going to go into the historical accuracies of every piece of outfit. I'm just going to piece together some clothes and then just... And then just go with it for a bit. I wish there was a shirt, however, that opened quite wide. Uh, if I remove the neckwear... Because you only get that piece there. But I wish there was a piece where it opened a bit more. But there's nothing like that at all. So... Yeah, that sucks. Actually, technically there might be. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, we'll go with that. And instead of the pants that we're using there, we'll go with a nice blue. Uh, we'll go like a faded blue. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we'll change the boots to the worn roper boots. We'll go with a nice brown, a worn brown. Uh, the spurs that we'll use as well are going to be these ones. These are, I seem to go with these ones quite a lot. I do like this sort of colour and difference between them. Because obviously you've got the standard like brown one um, and obviously the black ones. But those ones are quite nice, so I tend to go with them quite a lot. What the heck was that tapping? I don't know if anyone else heard that if it picks it up on the mic. But there was a weird tapping. I think it might be coming from outside, so so yeah, uh, I won't pay attention to that too much. I did hear a knock. I don't know where it's coming from. It must be outside. I think someone's doing something outside. So sorry if that's distracting in any way. Uh, what are your opinions? Do you like the ring neck gun belt? Or do you prefer the look of... Uh, the woven pistol gun belt. I'll let you decide because I'm torn on this outfit which one I want to go for. So I'll let you decide. The ring neck. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, let's go back to it. Cool, so we'll go with that one. So that stylizes out a bit more. Um, because we're t typically in hotter weather now. Um, I'm going to change the hat. Where is the hat option? Um, I might go for uh, my favourite person ever in the world's hat. So it just dawned on me. I'm actually kind of recreating an outfit. That um, country singer called to World War um, in one of his social media posts quite some time ago. So I'm actually going to try and pull it up on on my laptop if I can. Uh, I do realise my laptop actually needs. Oh, yeah, there we go. Web page was unresponsive. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have to look it up on my phone or something. So his kind of hat, from memory, looks very similar to this, or this. What do you think? Do we go with the um, Liberty hat or the Cutter hat? Or do we go for something completely different like the Cayuga hat? Cutter. Yeah, it looks more like traditional, maybe? Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, do we want it in brown or black? I only own it in brown at the moment. But... Well, have a look at the black one. See what you think of the black version. Brown looked good. It did. Uh, we'll just have a quick, quick peek at the uh, black one. Uh, that will require gold to purchase. Do you, do you have, have some? some? 
Uh, I've probably walked. Uh, walked. I've probably gone past it. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? Right, cut a hat. So that's the black. I don't know if it's quite the difference. I'm trying to. I'm trying to decide by looking at it on my actual laptop to see what you see. Still brown. Cool. 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 No problem at all. No problem at all. Alright, let's double check it just to make sure we look good. Uh, what do you think? The uh, pants over the boots or tucked in? Because if we go tucked in, I might put chaps on as well. Or uh, the half chaps, not the full chaps. Always tucked. Always tucked. Good idea. Right, so for half chaps... Uh, not them. Although that does look quite nice. That's... These chaps are nice, but they're for cold weather. So, the half ones... Jeans over, not boots. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I get ya. Oh, boots tucked. Oh, okay, I get ya. Cool. <clears throat> so, for chaps. The no Salida ones don't look right. The Frontiersmans are the only kind of ones that kind of suit, I think. Unless we go for... Um, <clears throat> the Becker half chaps. Or even... I've confused you by not being able to type. <laughs> Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Boots should always be tucked. Oh, else it would look weird. So, meaning... Jeans should always be tucked. Oh, okay. So you even... <laughs> My brain is not working. Trust me, I'm trying to decipher all of this myself too. Oh no. Okay, so you mean this. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? Tuck your jeans in, okay? <laughs> oh, what is going on? <laughs> okay, cool. There we go. Oh my god. We got there. <laughs> we got there eventually. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? What is going on? Uh, shall we go with no suspenders? I was right the first time, and then couldn't form a consistent sentence. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm still going with forming consistent sentences. So, how does no suspenders look? I've even spelt a sentence wrong. <laughs> sentence! <laughs> oh no! Everything's breaking down. It needs a belt or something. Well, this is the issue. We don't have belts. Apart from... This atrocity. It's black with gold. It's an absolute atrocity. It doesn't work. But I'd, I'd like to at least... Ask... Yeah, that is ugly. Of course it's ugly. It's Rockstar. Uh, so, for suspenders... I'm thinking of going for some white ones. Is there anything that goes around the waistband? Uh, literally no. The only thing that goes around the waistband is literally this belt. The gun belts only sit in one place. And the only other thing that would realistically work for the outfit is suspenders. Because uh, obviously the only option we have as well for is rings in this sort of general area. I hope nothing's wrong. It says unstable. Poor connection. Oh, lovely. Brilliant. Um, by the look of it, everything seems to be working fine. You're back. Okay, so I was gone. Oh my god. I've never had this happen before on a stream. If I have, I'd, I've never noticed it. I thought that was my play. 
I thought that was my player. No. Uh, yeah, okay, everything's good. Everything's good. It's stabilised, it's stabilised, we're good, we're good. It buffered them flickered between play and that. Okay, that was on my end. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll have to go with the white ones for suspenders. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, I'll go with the um over the shoulder. If you didn't get that message, I did. All the messages came through. Everything was fine on the message end of it. The only issue I was having was uh, where it says that I'm live. It said the um that it was an unstable connection and that my actual player for where I can actually see my thing was uh um just completely gone. But the messages were coming through fine. And obviously we've got vests as well. But I'm not going to go with vests. Um, I might put on a pair of gloves. Just to... Just to have a look. What do you think of those gloves? In that sort of colour? Because that sort of tan colour actually is realistic, uh, which is really weird to say, but that was actually realistic for the period. What do you think of the outfit as a whole? Do you know what? This actually might be one of my favourite things I've ever created on uh, stream. I like it. The opening's quite wide, but colour's fine. Uh, can I? Do I even own anything which is similar? Oh, I don't like them that far up. Uh... Well, about the Frontiersman gloves, but they're quite big and bulky. Same colour, but just big and bulky. No, the first were better than them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for that. Just save it as outfit 10. No, no need to do anything about that. Right, so I'm a cowboy in the big city. I need to get out of here. Need long sleeves with the Frontiersman. Yes. Well, you're to try out your I do agree with you on that one. There we go. I really don't fit in with this uh, aesthetic that they have going on in this town, do I? <laughs> And why wouldn't you? I'm always right, right when I make sense. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I think we should have a bit of a... There we go. I'm going to say let's have a bit, little bit of a smoke before we head out. I really love the fact that we have the option to use emotes and some of them actually work in like a very good like role playing sense. Right then shall we hop back on our horse and carry on riding? There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll just give uh, Caroline an apple. Just for the time being. That's the spirit, you got the idea, take it easy. Actually, that's a thought. I've actually never once had the idea of just looking down at my character to see how much of it I can see. But the gloves look really nice with the saddle. Give an apple, horse core increases, our puns. Apple core! I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even make to think to make the connection. And usually I'm the one that would think about that sort of stuff. But yeah, interesting thing as well uh, with this um, choice of style. Is uh, even though the horse breed for the period probably wasn't um, standard. Or wasn't even used. Um, 
the actual horse saddle uh, I've tried to go with like the same co kind of colour scheme um, of what I've seen in paintings and like literature and everything about it I've tried to go as realistic as I possibly can which for a lot of people sounds so stupid but I enjoy it I really enjoy the look of it actually saying that got an idea so another thing you can do in the game uh, yeah camera can I take a photo here yes I can right what I'm gonna have to do is get my horse to to literally just piss off for a little bit or I could go in front of that barn so what I've been trying to do with um, like my thumbnails for YouTube is use whatever I've taken during that stream so I'm tempted to maybe use oh hang on I need to delete uh, an image um, so you only get like a certain amount of space in the camera and I've used it all so I do need to genuinely like delete anything full colour with zoom fancy <laughs> I know didn't exist uh, in this period of time but I will delete that one do you want to see a nice picture of um, a couple of cactus I do I'm going to look at it anyway I, lo I, just, I just love the camera in this game They some fine cactus, mister. <laughs> they are. They're actually really good. Uh, it's a good uh, photo. Uh, is there anything else that I want to delete? We will delete. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You've got to pretend I can do accents <laughs> and it was an old time prospector yeah we've also got to pretend that I can also replicate them accents and I don't know if you've been on Twitter much re recently but this is actually my header on Twitter um, the nice moon glow on the cactus is creating the whole sort of ambiance of mystery in the west I, I absolutely love it to pieces but yeah I think we've got enough uh, space uh, I just moved and I just wrecked the shot that I had All right I occasionally have a quick scroll through the feed when I don't think I'm hating myself quite enough I hate it when people are going past. Stop it. <laughs> right, that guy in the back's fine. Actually, do you even use Twitter these days? Because I know I know oftentimes you do lurk. You've mentioned it before. But I I don't know if you actually still use it or not. Yeah, we'll use that. Sure, why not? Right, let's get back to riding. Twitter now for me is just a place where I just re retweet anything. Literally, it's just a bunch of retweets from me now. Uh, the occasional post when I'm streaming and everything, but it's very occasional. Very, very occasional. Do you know what? I think you've helped me create a masterpiece of an outfit and I think I'm actually going to have to um, keep this outfit so thank you. It's very simple. Oh it's so nice. I don't use social media anymore. Do you have reddit? Do you use reddit? I suppose Reddit counts, doesn't it? I do, but I passively consume. Ah, uh, okay. 
Not a poster, just watches the posting. I get it. Ooh, that's a pretty horse. Right, if this player doesn't want to just shoot on sight, I'm going to go um, pet their horse. So all those little like dings and everything that people uh, that you can hear. Oh, this horse is beautiful. It's a white Arabian. Oh, this is nice. Heavy petting or... No, just the light petting. I hope they uh, they don't try and obviously shoot me. Can I feed their horse is a question as well. No, I can't. Okay. I'm also not going to steal their horse. I'm just going to ride away. But yeah, basically what that person's doing is um, doing the naturalist missions by the sound of it. So yeah, I'm just going to leave them alone. And just slowly meander away. Getting some freezes. Freezes? Now that, I'm not entirely sure if that's on my end or not. Um, looking at my stream manager, everything seems fine. It's gone now regardless. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, is there anything that you missed at all? Because I'm, I'm, I probably did end up sounding choppy at some point, so... There is a legendary animal nearby, by the sound of it, but... Okay, just frames lost. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing too exciting or extravagant is going on. Oh wow, okay, it's right there. Uh, why not? Right, then let's try and get this legendary boar. Now the thing is with these legendary animals, is they don't go down after one hit. Their basically difficulty spike is the fact that they're bullet sponges. Which is really weird, but that's how the game does it, so. The worst kind of difficulty. I wouldn't mind if the legendary animals were one of those things where they take one shot to obviously be killed, but it's hard to find them. So like, you obviously head up to where like a last sighting was or wherever a cl cluster of them are. Uh, one sec, I've got an incoming phone call. Uh, I'll be right back.
Here we go, I am back. Um, yeah, mum just basically phoning me to ask how I am and everything like that. But yeah, uh, we will carry on with our quest to pick up some antique alcohol bottles. And eventually I'm going to have to get this palp down to Crips for him to uh, <clears throat> turn it into some goods. Gator just there. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're a small one. Good to be checked in on occasionally. It is. It really is. How'd you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? One will see you in a while, and one will catch you later. Oi! That was bad. That was that was awful. That was bad. Whoa, it's right there. Did not see you there. I was going to give genuine answer like size, colour and shape of jaw. Yeah. All of those are big, 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 um, easy ways to tell which are which. But here's me just being a dumbass. That is fine, though. That is fine. Recently as well, changing subject drastically, um, I've been into some sort of like true crime stuff as well, um, but it's like stuff on YouTube, um, it's like cases that obviously have like either finished and stuff like that, but it's like, it's things that would be on obviously like normal television and everything, but it's just on YouTube in like a more detailed sort of like forum, like it's this whole massive thing about it and what is going on up there you're not going to start lusting after <laughs> start lusting after ted bundy are you i am not i am not so what was that weird thing that was happening up here i'm lost wait what are you hang on It's a dog. I can't tell if this is the mission where you got to follow them up to something, because I know that exists. I'll follow it for a little bit, see where, see where we go. But because I would absolutely shame you for something like that. Nope, nothing like that. You know, forget this dog. Forget about it. Whoa. It's another player. Oh, he's in defensive mode. Oh, I can't go just from that way. I have to go this way. Oftentimes, I've actually used this as a good, like, sort of lookout point. And obviously, you pull the rifle out, which I don't have. And then just, like, aim. And sometimes, obviously, you've got deer and smaller game animals and stuff like that. This is the perfect place for hunting. Just, like, on this massive stand. And the last place we've got to go is Annisberg. Which I forgot to put a waypoint on.
I can honestly say without a shadow of a doubt though, that I'm really enjoying just chilling out and just riding around. I never usually get to experience the whole map when I usually do this. I usually try and keep it into like one confined area. Um, and when keeping it in one confined area, it's just just like in the warmth. So like I'm over by roads or I'm over like by armadillo and I just I just ride around just like the area. But like I've rode around pretty much the entirety of the map given given like seems fairly chill to do that. It really is. It's really nice. Uh, even if you um, slow up on the horse as well. So <clears throat> you can even lead horses. So like occasionally I will just walk around like this. And it's really, really nice. Like this is obviously much, much slower than the ho being on the top of the horse. But gets you from A to B and it's relaxing. Isn't there a radiant quest in the game to take someone back to town like that? Um, kind of. It's in the story mode. Um, when you first head into Strawberry from a specific specific way. Hey mate, I'm a break at work now. How's the stream going? Hey man, it's going great. Uh, I decided to sort of like half impersonate quarter wall with my attire. Um, and we're just sort of like slowly doing the antique alcohol bottle collection. Very, very slowly. Um, we're on our way to the last place, Annersburg, uh, to pick up the last bottle of uh, antique alcohol. Uh, I've killed a legendary boar. And that's about it. So, how's work? But yeah, the quest to take someone back just basically requires walking them back into town. But you can just hop on your horse and just let them walk alongside you but they will not get on the horse so you genuinely have to sort of keep at a slow pace the only other issue that i don't like about leading uh, the horse like this is you can't use the emotes so i can't just have like a cigarette or something whilst i'm doing it i have to just genuinely just be walking which sucks but oh well Still peaceful regardless. Works good, just hot as hell. Aircon in the staff room is glorious. Yeah, because the aircon's broken, isn't it? It sucks. How has it been on shop floor today though? Um, Cause I know yesterday it was quite warm and obviously today is supposed to be hotter. So yeah, works good, just hot as, yeah. Oh, I'm reading the same message again. My screen flickered, my screen flickered and I literally thought, <laughs> back in a minute. Cool thing Riley, cool thing. But yeah, I'm just relaxing, just chilling out. I think I'm going to get back on my horse though. Um, today's the hottest day at work this week. It is, it is. And thank God I'm not there. Thank God I am not there. Can't be dealing with that. I already felt kind of nauseous yesterday. Not dealing with it today. Feeling hot, hot, hot. I'm not even going to attempt to sing it. I'm not even going to attempt to sing it because I cannot sing, so. Oh, what is going on? Yeah. 
Must be some sort of random event going on. Either that there are, or if there's maybe like a player in defensive mode. <clears throat> I honestly have no idea what's going on. I honestly have no idea why. Oh, yes, okay, so it seems. Thought you were going to sing when you said glorious, so I thought I'd try again. Nope. Uh, you're not trapping me into singing on stream. I, I will not do that. But yeah, it seems as though there's a player causing ruckus down there that's uh, clearly in defensive mode. So I'm not even going to um, entertain the idea of trying to get involved. go and that is today's alcohol bottle run completed thank the lord so we are now tasked with heading all the way to camp we Makes a change, someone's causing trouble and it's not you. Yeah, basically. Um, well, I was about to say it's not me, but... Well, I never cause trouble in this game. I... I don't think I can. I don't think I know what trouble is. I really don't think I know what trouble is. Right, I'm going to quickly go grab another drink because my water is almost gone. So, I will be back momentarily. So in my quest to go grab a drink, uh, I basically just tripped over the stairs and drenched myself in my water. So my chest and my legs are a kind, kind of a bit damp now. <laughs> I decided it'd be a fun idea to sort of just not run up the stairs, but to sort of try and get a hurry on. But that hurry on turned into, well, water on me. So, at least I'm a bit cooler. And from what it looks like as well, from what I've seen outside just, is that it's um, starting to get a bit cloudier as well. So hopefully that creates obviously more shade. And I will say though, the room that I'm in right now is quite hot, so. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and um, cool this room down once 
once I'm done. But to be fair, I'll probably be taking my laptop and everything downstairs. So... Can't, can't complain at that. Downstairs is a lot cooler than upstairs at the moment. Also, it's a good job I, ca uh, I got to my laptop just in time. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Actually, it was only half of it. So yes, I've only got half a glass of water, but at least I've kept myself cool. So, I, I can't complain. I cannot complain at that. We'll switch to the Unforgiven outfit, just because the climate is a bit cooler, a bit cooler. I'm actually starting to get really hungry now. Uh, after the conversation earlier about food, all I can think of is food. So I think I am actually gonna, um, once I finish streaming, I think I'm gonna head down and get some food. I think that's number one priority, is to make sure I've got my meal in me. Which to be fair, shouldn't be long from now. Um, probably another half hour? Maybe? Maybe. We will see, we will see. Also, another thing that is quite weird due to the heat and everything, my PlayStation is surprisingly cool today which never happens, so is Ryback bothering you again? Oh my god, stop referring to my stomach as Ryback. <laughs> We're not making that a thing. We're not making it a thing. <laughs> oh no. But yes, my stomach is actually starting to bother me now. <laughs> uh, why is the music doing that? God, it makes it sound so creepy. Wait, just out of curiosity, by the way, Andrew, do you have me on loudspeaker? Or am I uh, in your earphones or your headphones? Because obviously you you being on break, you're probably in the break room. Canteen is the word I was looking for there. <clears throat> I hope I'm not playing out loud. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> that would be very, very embarrassing. Well, to be fair, it wouldn't be. I'm not liking how the music sounds right now. I don't I don't know if it's picking up on stream, but the music sounds very sort of unsettling as if there's like predators or something or someone on speaker. Someone came in and thought I was on the phone to you. Catch you later, breaks over now. <laughs> oh, that's one way to uh, to trick people. Like, oh, you on the phone to Adam? Nope, he's streaming. But yeah, it was nice talking to you whilst you're at work. Have a good shift, a good rest of your shift, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for dropping by, by the way. Yeah. 
I'm tempted now with that new outfit that I made to actually make like a warmer version and a colder version for when I just go riding and just call it like the rider or something like that. Because I mean it's okay for hunting. I will, I will admit it, it's okay for hunting. It's, it's nice, but it's dirty. But it also looks like, like a hired gun, sort of like relaxed, like day off look. If that makes sense, maybe, I don't know. I think this is the only part in the game that I don't like, is literally just the darkness. I just want it to be daytime already. I want to do things, I want to see things. But I can't. I can't see anything. Sod it. The chase begins. <laughs> oh, why did I mess it up? God damn it. Typical. I was only after uh, a three star. I wasn't interested in getting a two star. Uh, we'll still skin it. Why not? It's there anyway, so I may as well. Right, so let's get back on track to what we were actually doing. Which is literally just riding. What was that sound? Was that the opossum then? Well, I'll take it. I mean, it surrendered, so I'll take it. Although I will say I am uncomfortable with the fact that I'm hunting in this outfit. Something that I don't want to do. That's not what I designed this outfit for. <laughs> Where's my immersion? Where's my immersion? Damn it. Are there any other daily challenges I could sort of get done today? Well, I still haven't crafted or cooked anything at the wilderness camp yet, so I might give that a go. Yeah, I think that'll probably be the last one I do today. I also like the fact that I haven't come into contact with any sort of like aggressive players or any players that I have sort of rode by just have left me and I, I like that, that's nice. So I'm torn on the idea with playing Red Dead on Twitch, whether or not I want to start story mode again. I know I briefly, I think it was briefly, at least in my memory it was briefly. Um, I mentioned about just starting the story mode on Twitch and trying to go for 100%. And I'm not entirely sure, obviously, when I want to start doing that. Um, I know with today's temperatures, I've just been too relaxed, too not bothered to to want to start doing that. So I think it might be next time, next time I stream. I do want to try and keep it to streaming at least once a week. Um, and I want to keep it to weekends, if preferably. So if I can make it work, I also might try and stream for a lot longer as well. Um, so yeah. Wait, did that guy just <laughs> ride off the edge and just fall to his death? Okay, cool, cool. I see ya, or at least I don't. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll give everybody um, the chance to see Arthur Morgan's story and, and obviously John Marston's. Yeah, why not? Next stream, for definite, because obviously I was a bit um and ah about about to doing it today 
But I think next time, next stream, I will do, and I will do the story of Red Dead Redemption 2. But someone will have to remind me about that, by the way, because by the time next stream comes around, I'll probably forget. I know for a fact I don't want to stream tomorrow. Um... Because I know we're supposed to have bad weather by the forecast tomorrow. So it's supposed to be raining. So, as much as I want to stream, I just want to just sit at home and just chill. And obviously give my laptop a break and my P PS4. And just not do anything. And then, I'm working next week, four days straight. And I've just got Friday, Friday off. So I'm thinking stream Friday and Saturday next week. Maybe. I'm trying to make it more of um more of like a thing that I actually keep on doing. Because if I take a break for like two weeks, I'm not gonna wanna jump in. And it's really, really fun. I'm having the absolute time of my life. So, I think at some point I am ha having to, uh, having to see where my days are and, and everything like that, but as far as consistency goes, I haven't given up on it just yet. I'm having fun. That's the main part about it, so... At the end of the day, I really can't complain. Oh, we might as well take these out. I think on that note as well, I may as well just clean my gun whilst I'm here. <clears throat> yeah. Because I, I could just feel it just in the way I was shooting. The fact that it was very much um, dirty. I think we're just going to skin them all. Um, if there's a three star, I'll uh, keep it. But if there's no three stars, I just it's just a skin job. I also appear to have just unplugged my my earphones, so that that was fun. There we go, the back in. Right. Head on over. Two star, one star. What were you? I'm pretty sure this was a ah three star. Perfect. Um. I'll store it on the horse straight away. Yeah. Because then we can skin the others. Oh, it's, it's as if Caroline knew exactly what I wanted to do. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, we don't want to get on the horse yet. <laughs> we need to skin the other one. There we go. Right, we still need to head to camp. We we haven't even um, got a chance to uh, give Crips the legendary animal car animal carcass, animal pal. That's the word. So we still need to do that. Nice. 
no, nothing up here. I think once we get to hotter temperatures again, we'll put um, that call to wall inspired outfit back on. Yeah, that basically sounds like a plan. Uh, if we just ride with this camera back on again. Just whilst I'm grabbing a drink. There we go. <clears throat> I wonder if I'm going to be in a beautiful area for Sunrise. Or well, they're saying that Sunrise looks like it's already starting to maybe happen. Unless it's the obviously reflection of the moon and everything. But with it, with it being so cloudy I don't think we're going to get much of a Sunrise. But what we'll do is we'll just sort of hang around over here, just in case, to see if we can spot any sunrises. Just sit down here. Just rest up a little while. Just on days when literally in this game there's no clouds and it's all blue sky and it's all sunny, this view is absolutely gorgeous. I just wish I just wish it was right now. <laughs> Why does it have to rain? Because <laughs> all of a sudden, just I could start hearing the sound of rain, and now I can actually see it on my screen slightly, just in the reflection of the <clears throat> the light from the horse. God damn it! And here's me thinking it was going to be a nice, nice fun time, but it's not. All right, then let's carry on. Whoa. I also need to be careful whether or not a cougar will attack as well. Because I know cougar um, spawns are, are right here. So I'll get the gun ready. I. I can hear you, Mr. Cougar. Mr. Cougar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Let's just check now whether or not this is a three star. Because if this one's a three star, we'll get rid of the wolf and just use the cougar. Uh, it's only two. Uh, I will skin it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the uh, waypoint at the right place too. Whoa! 
That's a nice shot. <clears throat> I love seeing like the rain and the wind because of how windy it's gone. That is incredible. Why is it about rain? <clears throat> the way it sounds. It's just really relaxing. Like, it's just chill. Like, no one's ever said, just like, oh, rain, I hate it, I hate the way it sounds. Like, yes, people hate the rain, but the way it sounds, everyone has to say how calming and relaxing it sounds. It's so nice, it's so, so nice. Well, at, this, at least this point, it looks like the clouds are starting to part ways a bit, which means hopefully we should have a nice warmer trip into um, to get to camp. It's a good thing uh, brown bears don't attack. Uh, brown bears. Black bears don't attack. Well, either way, it seems like the rain is starting to slowly let up. Slowly, but... Or have I spoke too soon? I'm sorry if I'm annoying anyone, by the way, with uh, constantly checking like the, um, the things up there. Uh, what I'm trying to look at is basically the temperature and the time of day. Just because like when I'm playing, I like to sort of reference the time. And then obviously reference like the weather conditions and where the sun is in the sky. Um, not so much of like uh, <clears throat> trying to be realistic and like role playing. It's just more so like to see like where things are at in the in-game day. Just so then, like, when eventually, like, I do stop checking, I can sort of, um, see by the position of the sun and, like, the weather conditions and everything else. Just like, oh, I'm roughly around this time. And then, obviously, the temperature just being because it's generally quite hot. So, yeah, let's just change into a quarter wall inspired outfit. See, I think this is the kind of outfit I'd wear, well, I'd, I'd put my character in uh, if he was more like a rancher, more than anything. It really ticks those boxes. I 
And I think as we're nearing into camp, I just want to make sure it's still in the right place. It is. As we're sort of nearing into camp, um, I'm just going to lead my horse. I'm still unsure on the gun belt though. Like, it's basically just John's from the story mode. And I think I like it for that reason because obviously it's reminiscent. It's it's nice to look at. But obviously I do want my character to sort of be unique. However, just because it's obviously... Go on, run away. I'm not going to hunt you today. You're not food. You are not food for today, friend. But because of the brown on that gun belt, it doesn't match the boots, nor the hat. The boots and the hat match quite well, but it's just the gun belt. So I'm tempted to either try and find boots and a hat that match the gun belt, or uh, a gun belt that matches the boots and the hat, which is the um, Bulger gun belt. Oh, this is solid. Look at this. <clears throat> uh, can we tie it up here? No, we cannot. I think I'm going to have to go around and do it on the opposite side. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to be. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, what we can do first is we'll donate the stuff to Crips and then we'll look at maybe trying to find a different gun belt. Supplies are good. I'm a happy man. Beautiful. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, well, you don't see one of these every day. What's the daily challenge that I just got there? <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. What did I just get? Oh my god, yeah, to uh, donate um, deadly predators. Ah, okay. I weren't paying attention. I completely forgot about that one. That makes sense. That makes sense. Right. Here's an idea as well. Shall we put some overalls on? Sort of like that. Because I think they look quite nice as well. Ah, uh, here's me changing my style again. <laughs> I'm surprised no one hates me for this. Uh, weapon equipment. Gun belts. Because obviously we've got that one as well, but it's quite a posh looking one. And that's something I'd wear like on an actual rider. Um... Yeah. Um, what about this one? Oh no, I've got those in like a red and like a dark red. They don't, they don't look great. Yeah, see if I could get that ring neck one, the one that John wears. That looks perfect, kind of, kind of. See, but that does too. Ah, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Sorry, R Riley, Riley chose it for me, so I'll uh, I'll keep it for him. Um, I wonder what vests would look like with this outfit. That doesn't look half bad. Um, eh, eh, so-so. I do think maybe vests go with this outfit, but not, but maybe not the ones that I'm thinking of. Hang on. There we go. I wonder about ponchos. Yeah, ponchos just definitely just don't go with that outfit in the slightest. Um. This coat doesn't look too bad either, because it's quite, quite
quite nice. That's uh, do 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 do. I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, actually, I just need to check what's on my horse, and also collect <laughs> collect deliveries. I've been meaning to do that for a while because I've got a lot of ammunition that I need. Oh, and a health cure as well. Here we go. So I've got the trader uh, west and northeast. Uh, Outlaw Seven's missing. We can swap that for, from the ranger or yeah we'll do that way cool so folks thank you so much for joining me today um i could already feel it in my throat and i can feel it in my stomach that i'm just really really hungry now so i think i am actually just gonna head off grab some food and, and chill out for the rest of my day Thank you to everybody that has stopped by. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Riley, for jumping in chat. Greatly appreciate it.